dare I say, need I say, that AEW Rampage is their equivalent to Monday Night Raw. I, you know, to me personally, man, I don't get, I really don't get how in one hour, you know, usually that's quick and to the point and it's like, you know, they get wrestling out there and not a lot of uh, talking and not a lot of uh, bullshit segments and stuff like that. But what segments did they have? You know, uh, I, I don't, you know, get it. I don't understand what's going on. What's going on, AEW? You know, you're getting a lot of uh, flack and a lot of uh, criticism for Rampage. Uh, you know, I guess I gotta say that at least their main event was better than last week because they had a fake, non-sanctioned title as their main event. Who cares about the FTW title? And really, who cares about Brian Cage and uh, obsolete Ricky Starch, Stark, Starch, I should say that, Stark's uh, rivalry, you know? Put, what do you call it, Brian Cage somewhere else. Give him another person to feud with. Really? He's wasting his time with uh, those guys. Really is. He's wasting his time with uh, on those guys. And hopefully he's done with, uh, with Tame Taz. Well, let's get into this real quick. The rundown and thoughts for uh, October 15, 2021 for Rampage. CM Punk versus Matt Seidel. Got no issue with Matt Seidel. I've been a, I was a fan of his when he was in WWE. The guy really is a great high flyer. Really, really a great... He's really done well for himself since leaving WWE because WWE didn't really use him well. But really, I'm telling you, like, ooh, oh boy, what an exciting match. Um, Like, yawn. And now, uh, again, why is obsolete Ricky Starks commentating? I would rather hear Mark Henry, and Mark Henry sucks. But uh, am I going to have to sit through the you know the worst commentary team? You know, no offense to uh, Excalibur, but he can't carry those two. Even if they had handles on them, you wouldn't be able to carry Taz or Ricky Starks, especially Ricky Starks. You know, I guess they took uh, Mark Henry off commentary because maybe enough people complained about how how bad he sucks. On commentary. And then in the end we see a GTS. By CM Punk. Uh, I think. Uh, you know. And, and then. Uh, like, Whoop-de-doo. Like. Really. Like. CM Punk's undefeated. But who has he wrestled? Really. You know. He was talking about. Going after other people. No longer Team Taz. Which is good. But then my side L. Uh, before that was. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Garcia. You know. Uh, the band's back together, uh, well, Dark Order, they're backstage, and they challenge Adam Cole and the Bucks. And all I gotta say is that, uh, you know, Silver was annoying. You know, here he's a little overboard with his voice and trying to look tough. I don't know why the guy is a tough little dude. You know, the guy's a short guy, but the guy does have, uh, you know, power, and he isn't one of the strongest guys for his weight, pound for pound. But, you know, is that going to match going to be... It looks like it was going to be him, uh, Reynolds, and uh, I guess Evil Uno. Because they were actually at the forefront. And he actually pointed to them too. So I guess it's them three. Alright. And Ruby Soho uh, versus The Bunny. And this crowd sounds dead. Like, they didn't even pop for uh, Ruby when she came out. And then they show life during the match. But then they're chanting for Ruby and they're chanting for The Bunny. It's almost like... That's the thing I can't stand about crowds, especially AEW crowds. Like, you don't chant for one person and chant for the other when they're, like, one heel and one baby face. Why would you chant for the bunny? You know, especially after what she, her and uh, Penelope Ford do with the brass knucks. And that thing right there, it comes into play. Uh, you know, um, Ruby Soho uh, you know, gets a backslide on the bunny and pins her. And then Penelope Ford... On the rampway, attacks Ruby from behind, hits her with brass, and then hits her with the brass snucks inside the ring. Oh, but we have to chant because we go, let's go Ruby, let's go Bunny, right? Yeah, you, you have to because you have to, right? Because it goes hand in hand, right? But you guys still don't get it. You don't chant for the heel like that. But I don't know I'm an old fashioned uh, wrestling fan, so I guess you know, what what do I know, right? 
And then uh, old Mr. Personality himself, Mark Henry, interviews America's top team and the inner circle. And I skipped it because like everything here on Rampage so far sucks. I can't stand anything, any, anything that's been going on so far. And I can't stand the voices of Taz and Spark, Starks. I like Excalibur, but then he even he struggles when he says it's Friday night. You know what that means. Sounds like he's not even comfortable saying it or he can't say it. I think they need to leave that to uh to JR when JR does it on Dynamite. Yeah, there's a trios match, the it's the main event, Inner Circle versus America's top team, and Dos Santos Jr. himself cannot wrestle. And I lost interest in this match as I did AEW Rampage. And I'm telling you, Taz and Starks, I've said it before and I'll say it again, they take me out with their shit commentary. And unfortunately, I had to skip everything. I got the last parts of the first beginnings of matches, the last part of the matches. You know, and then Taz is singing Ruby Soho's uh, theme song. And I get it. I get it. He's on commentary, so he wants to be the old Taz that we remember from SmackDown when he was commentary there and stuff like that. But again, he is a heel. And he's also the leader of Team Taz. Why is he acting like that when he is who he is? He's not a commentary person more so he is uh he is the, the leader of team taz you know so then when he decides that he wants to come out and look tough and he call out uh people that he don't like it's just like oh look the commentary guy is uh, calling out somebody you know what i mean that's to me that's what it is it sounds it's like it's that weak it's that weak that how he he comes off like really like you're gonna come off like oh i'm gonna be the funny taz guy in commentary but then i'm gonna get up and Changing the character, I mean, the character of Team Taz, a mean guy picking on uh, guys that I don't like. At least last week, uh, Starks was like, he kind of sounded like his old self, and he was even correcting um, Taz when Taz would say something that Starks thought thinks, thinks that oh, you know, that doesn't sound right, and he would correct him on it, you know. But still, that didn't even matter. But why is it that they're on commentary? Okay, Taz, I get it. Okay, Taz, okay. And then Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks is mute most of the time. When they go, hey, Ricky, uh, what do you think? Or, oh, da, 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 or Starks, hey, Ricky, you know what I got? And I know that um, Oxalibur's doing that because you don't hear Ricky Starks that much. You'll hear him here and there, but it's like, dude, commentate. You know, do something. Keep keep doing like what you did last week. You know, when you were correcting Taz. And you know, I think he was correcting Oxalibur too. Kind of like that. It kind of sounded okay when you did that. But, you know what I mean? Or stick to wrestling. Aren't you the FTW champion? How about you defend that title or something? I mean, even though I don't want that, but why don't you focus on that? Like, why are you on commentary thing? Why come is that someone else? You know what I'm saying? I guess Jericho's Jericho is, uh, you know, Jericho's wrestling, so he can't commentate. You know, he could have brought, you know, he brought Punk out there after his match. I mean, you know, I'd rather hear him. But uh, I did not enjoy uh, Rampage. I, I don't know what it is. They're really going downhill for me anyway. So I guess I guess that's just kind of cool because at least there's one show on Dynamite that I, I mean on uh, AEW that I watch that I can um that I could uh you know talk shit about and 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 do to that to do to it what I do to Raw and recently SmackDown and even NXT 2.0 as well. The only show there I like is I like uh, that I have no complaints about is NXT UK. Here on AEW, the only thing I don't have complaints about for the most part is Dynamite. Dynamite does look good this coming Saturday or tomorrow, I should say. But uh, you know, anyway, that's my uh, my video. That is short as it is, good thing, because I could talk about uh, this as for a long time and just rip apart what I saw. But I pretty much put out what I what I felt, and uh, I did not enjoy it. I don't think uh, Rampage is you know, going in the right direction. They need to really switch it up. I don't know what's going on. It really is uh, just goes to show that. People out there that are complaining about Rampage really don't know what, they, what they're seeing or lack thereof. But anyway, that's my video. So for those of you who stopped by, check it out. I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.